What is going on my YouTube friends? Today in this video, we're gonna be replacing a three ton gas pack. Now in order to do this, we gotta remove this whole section of fence here, just because the, the gate is just not wide enough to wheel the new unit in and the old unit out. So we're gonna remove this whole section first and then uh, get this thing swapped out. Let's do some work. All right, now that we got this fence out of the way, we got plenty of room to come in here and swap this unit out. All right, so what I did is I just got the exact unit, another Rude unit, so it's gonna be an identical swap out. Um, as long as everything looks good, and once we remove it, the pad will stay where it's at. I'm just gonna make a new custom hood. Um, but yeah, it should hook right back up, no problems. But we'll, we'll see what happens. What do you guys think about this hat, huh? My wife made it for me. Super warm. Thanks, honey. All right, so as you can see, we've got the old unit removed. Uh, we're gonna be reusing this old pad, so I got that cleaned off for now. Uh, Randall's in the trailer getting the new unit ready to be pulled out to where we can come over here and get this thing set. All right, so as you can tell, I've got the gas turned on now. We're checking the external static pressure on the system just to check overall airflow, make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, and with my wireless probes, I'm reading about 0.64 on the external static. Now that's giving me, if I look at the table on the chart, that's giving me around 1120, 1130 CFM. We should be closer to 1200. <laughs> So I went inside and uh, actually Randy went inside, checked the filter. Once we removed that filter, which is a, a, a MERV 11, uh, and it's only a one inch filter. So those really you know, slow down the airflow quite a bit. There's a lot of pressure drop across it. But anyways, once we removed that filter, we got the pressure down to um, 1.52. So uh, I'm gonna recommend they replace that filter with something more like a MERV 8 something along those lines, uh, just because those one inch filters, just too much static pressure across it. So I don't, I don't recommend those style. Um, so now all we got left is to finish up putting the shroud on. Uh, we need to check the gas pressure and make sure we're spot on there and get everything cleaned up. Should be good to go. All right, so I've got the flashing complete. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's a pretty big flashing, so. But the way I had to do it for the gas line, basically notch it out, put a small piece down there. It worked out pretty good. 
Got some good cross brakes in the sides. I couldn't use my big bender for the top, so I had to do it by hand. And it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to, but it still looks pretty good. And because it's so big, I did a half inch drop from that corner to that corner just to make sure no, the water won't stand on the top. But I think it turned out pretty good. short days it gets dark super early but we pulled through we got the job done so we're good we're gonna load up here and uh, hit the road hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and until next time we'll see you guys later